Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome to another adventure with the Traveling Ramen. Uh, today we are in an absolutely beautiful location. We are on the Pennsylvania State Game Lands out by Fort Indian Town Gap. And we're going to hike a section of the Appalachian Trail, the Stony Valley Rail Trail. And we're going to go see the abandoned town of Cold Springs. And we're going to make a side trip to see the General. And we'll talk about the general as we get closer, but it uh, should be a good hike. It's a little cloudy, but it's cool. Um, off and all showers, but shouldn't be too anything too too crazy. And then um, uh, it should be about seven, eight miles round trip. So not too bad today. Nice, easy hike, but um, we'll get this done. So, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go exploring. All right, so I mentioned that Cold Springs used to be a uh, abandoned town. So this used to be a resort. And these are some ruins here. Um, these are some ruins here that um, used to be the caretaker's house. We took care of the hotel. Over there, the big stone wall. You can walk over there. But this is where big hotel used to stand. And anyone who is anybody um, of, the, of the upper class would come here to um, vacation and get away from the hustle and bustle. And this is where we can go up these steps. So this is where the uh, Kertag's house used to be. Not much of it left, just a bunch of ruins, but still pretty cool out here. In the middle of Pennsylvania. And this is as, and this section of the AT is about as rural of Pennsylvania as you can get. It's one of the longest stretches in the state without any major uh, intersections, but Pretty cool, pretty cool history. Um, you can do some more research on the town of uh, Cold Springs, but it was it, it was a resort. And um, it, uh, there was a spa and uh, the spring, which is up here, where it's, uh, the town gets the name, um, had, a, uh, had a hot springs. And the, it was typically the, uh, the women of uh, high class society would uh, come out here for our rest and relaxation so i'll take you up to the spring in a second but anyway cool piece of uh pennsylvania history all right we'll walk back here a second check out the old hotel ruins um some other cool stuff back here but and then we continue up to the rail trail But you can see, you can see part of the hotel. No, it's not my typical hike, but we're gonna do some spoiling. And this was the old, this is an entrance. This is probably the entrance to, to the hotel. And you can see, I said, the, the wall runs, runs along the edge there, the base. So this is where the hotel was. Like, again, there's not much left of it, just a, just a wall down there. I walk down there, we can go a little bit farther, but as you can see, there's not, Kind of use your imagination here, but it's pretty neat. We're, we'll walk down this way. Some neat little structures out here. Again, you can kind of use them out. So the road we walked up would have been the main road, and they would have been um, 
this is when it was here when the automobile so they would have come by by automobile but see it's pretty neat all right so this is the old uh spring of uh what cold spring gets its name zoom in there it's covered up now but there used to be a a bathhouse here where the uh, wealthy ladies would come to soak but um see a little bit of it left you can see the spring a little bit down there but absolutely gorgeous it's so so beautiful and peaceful out here This is the water. Down here a little bit, there's a little bit more down here with the spring. All right, so here you can kind of see uh, the remnants of the uh, of the bathhouse. You see the little pipes. Awesome Pennsylvania history. So, obviously this was a little a bit more developed back um, in the early 1900s, but still. I'm walking up the path. This is, so this was the main road in front of the hotel. So walking up from the spring we were just at. Again, you can see the ruins of the old hotel. Again, the car would drive up this way. Oh, it's a down tree here. Let's get, let's get around this down tree. Um, but this was, this was the main main road leading into the old hotel it's pretty cool to think about that all this history out here just waiting to be um explored and this is where we were and straight ahead there that's where the parking lot is that's where you park and come up. So we're gonna head up this way to the rail trail and then we're gonna make our way to the general. All right, you can see a map of where we are. All right, so this is where we are. This is been parked. So we're on the, oh, this is the Stony Valley Rail Trail. And this is State Game Land 211. This is in Dolphin, Lebanon, and Burke Counties. Those are the three counties that the game land. So here's State Game Land number 11. So we're over here. So we're gonna go down to Roush Creek. Um, and this is the, the AT goes through here. We're, we're gonna walk along the AT. Um, and then come back this way, back to the parking lot. It's, it's a loop, so 
that's what we're gonna right there. All right, let's see what uh, else there is here to discover. All right, we're traveling down the rail trail and coming to an intersection with the Stony Creek Trail. So that will lead us to the parking lot. The Blue Blaze. So we are gonna go out this way. Follow the Blue Blaze and this will take us up to the top of the ridge and this will take us up to the Appalachian Trail. Uh, the, a the AT for you uh, hikers, but yeah. That's where we're going. This looks a little bit rocky. This is Pennsylvania rocks, so. But nothing we can't handle. We've, we've definitely done worse, so. Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here. The birds are singing. Um, flowers in bloom. I have not seen any wall off yet, but it's out here. I'm sure the deer is out here. I um, haven't seen any bears either, but we're doing doing well. This is uphill, but it's not terribly steep. Just you gotta be careful with with the rocks. So um, yeah, I love I love these hikes. It's a good day. Um, it's overcast and cool, which is good. It's in the 50s. Um, I do nothing that. Uh, that a sweatshirt or I have my fleece, uh, my fleece fillies jacket on that won't, uh, won't solve, but man, the, uh, ruins of cold, cold springs town site was beautiful. So now we're gonna go check out the general. And that general is an old excavator that was left out here. Just in here, decaying and rusting away. We're Go check it out. It's still working all the way up the Cold Springs Trail. This is what it's been like the whole, I mean, it's not exceptionally steep, but it's a constant uphill, very gradual. But we're almost at the top of the ridge, probably a mile from now in the bottom on the rail trail. Let me get up to the top here. Uh, hopefully the AT straight up. There's some old ruins back there too, more of a um, ruins of the town of Cold Springs. All right, something cool is coming up here. Let's see what this is. But yeah, it's just good walk, good hike. I'm not moving especially fast, but that's mainly because I'm just enjoying the sights. Very, very beautiful here. Probably one of the most beautiful parts of the state, I would say. Whew. So, all right, we made it to the top of the Cold Spring Trail and we're at the AT. Um, we're gonna eventually head down that way um, down to Rosh Gap, but first we're gonna make a side trip. We're gonna see the General, which is an old excavator from the uh, uh, the coal mining days in this part of the state. So um, uh, the the side trip is about two tenths of a mile, and I think the another half mile after that. So should be pretty cool. I've been looking forward to seeing this for a while now. Um, but weather, I finally got a day off and some good weather. So uh, let's let's go see the General. All right, we made it to the trailhead of, so we're gonna follow the Sand Springs Trail and we're gonna go see the General, which is down this way. The AT continues on that way. That way that way will take you to Georgia. And that way is the way I came. That will take you to Maine and we'll be going back that way to continue our hike. But for now, we're gonna continue down the Sand Spring Trail. And I believe there's a stream crossing. It did just rain, so this might be a little tricky, but uh, we are gonna try and maneuver this. One, without slipping and getting wet, and two, um, without falling, so. Uh, yeah, this is very, very beautiful back here and very remote.
this is the path to the general and this is the stream cross and that's i mean i it looks like that's about ankle deep uh, but i think that may be a spot down there where i can kind of finagle my way over there so i want to head over there and um see if we can do that without taking my shoes off um i mean that's doable it's not extremely deep and i do have my trekking pole with me to give me some balance but i prefer not to take my shoes and socks off so all right so this looks much more promising still tricky but um i think i can manage to get over there without getting soaked um that up there at least there's rocks here where i can kind of skedaddle um over there so all right this will be fun i gotta put this camera down and put everything away um yeah this is probably my best this is probably my best uh my best shot at fording the stream because we did get rain so sometimes this is dry and sometimes it's not so it's uh it's wet today so all right I will uh, hopefully see you on the other side. All right, well, I made it across, and uh, I'm very thankful I had my uh, my trusty old hiking pole here, or else uh, that would have been a lot tougher. But with the pole, it really helps with the balance going over the rock. So, made it over. Um, so now onward to the general. So when you're on the Salt Spring Trail, you will get to sign that says the general. It's two tenths of a mile this way, and there's also a marker down here that marks the uh, the path um, pieces of the general herself, so or himself. Um, so we're going to head down this way, and in two tenths of a mile, we should see it. Exciting stuff. All right, we are coming up in the general. I, I can see her. See if you can pick her out. When I say this is the middle of nowhere, this is the middle of nowhere. All right, presenting to you, the general. Look at that, right here in the middle of the woods, an old excavator. See, Mother Nature is uh, reclaiming the land. This tree is growing around the shovel here. And you ask, Ron, why is this called the general? Well, there you go. This was just abandoned here. So due to the old coal mining days, everything's still intact, the engine. Of course it doesn't work, but still pretty neat. I, I'm gonna explore a little bit more and then uh, I'll probably grab a bite to eat here. All right, so you may be asking Ron, why why is this here, and how did it get out here? Um, well, the first the first question is much more easy to answer. It used to be um, it used to be part of the old coal mining town. You can see the pile on the other side of what it was digging, um, digging something. What it was digging, 
maybe uh, I don't. This was a big uh, coal coal area of Pennsylvania or another mineral. As to how did it get out here, it may have come up on one of the roads. But um, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very very remote area of the state, so um, there's not a major road anywhere around here for miles. So. Um, it's a mystery. It's it's a mystery, but it's pretty neat just seeing it out here in the uh, in the woods, enjoying some lunch, listening to the birds. Yeah. So the things you find out here, exploring. So I'm gonna, probably gonna head back soon. But man, absolutely. Uh, very unexpected for sure. So it's worth worth a trip. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a trip. Um, well, uh, the drive plus the hike. So, but it's uh, it's out here. If uh, you want to come see it and uh, pay your respects to a uh, time gone by in Pennsylvania history. So we are back on the AT and. Our third and final stop will be uh, Roush Gap and the Roush Gap Shelter, which is on the Appalachian Trail. Um, of course, Roush Gap was an old coal mining town um, when this area of Pennsylvania was just thriving in um, you know, coal mining. So there's an empty, there's an old, I believe there's an old cemetery that we can check out. And we'll check out the Roush Gap Springs, which is supposed to be very, very pretty. So that will be... Um, it's about three miles from here, so we're going down there. Um, I'll show you Roush Gap, and then we will uh, call it. It's been a great hike. Looks like the sun's starting to come out. Birds, uh, birds are chirping. Spring is definitely here. So, um, yeah, this is very, very beautiful. I can't. Uh, this is a very beautiful part of the state. So. Alright, this is a very uh this is a very enjoyable part of the AT. It's very flat, um a little rocky, not 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 too terrible. Um that best Pennsylvania definitely has worse. Um beautiful rhododendron forest, um birds, birds chirping, um very, very very, very enjoyable hike. Um we're coming up on the Rosh Rosh Gap Shelter and the uh, the creek down here, so I'll show you that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I definitely recommend, uh, you just want to hit some trails, um, get away from civilization, because this is, I mean, this is not a road out here. I haven't heard of one car. So maybe one or two people, not much. Um, great, great trail for some solitude, um, nature, um, just... Um, no cell phone service in case you're wondering. I have no service out here, but that's okay. I don't need any. Uh, I'm just enjoying the hike and uh, we are coming up on the shelter momentarily. All right, so before we were in rhododendrons and now, just like that, the scenery has changed. Absolutely spectacular. I can hear the creek. I don't know if that's the wind. Was that the creek? Either way, it's very, very spectacular. Very pretty. Very peaceful. There's a uh, waterfall down that way.
Yeah, that's the creek. Uh, we're, so, we're, so we're coming up there. I can't get over this landscape change. It's like we were just walking in a bunch of uh, different kind of beauty, the rhododendrons. Now we're just in these, I don't know, these uh, evergreen trees. I'm not really sure what kind of trees these are, but these are um, definitely a striking. So I got I got to the uh, shelter and it started raining. So uh, I spent uh, probably 25, 30 minutes camped out there. Um, there was someone there. He was through hiking. I got caught in the rain yesterday. His clothes were soaking wet. So I was chit-chatting with him. Um, but uh, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to film anything there. But it's a beautiful shelter. Well done. Um, I'll show pictures at the end of the video. Um, but... This hike's, this hike's great. It's um, it's decent mileage. Like I said, it's about eight miles round trip. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty level. It's a, a little uphill, but not not terrible. Some rocks, but again, based on Pennsylvania, I mean, this is a very very, very nice uh, level flat hike. Beautiful, beautiful forest. Um, and it's very remote, so um, uh, I saw that gentleman in the uh, shelter was only a third person I've seen today since I've been out. So, um, but I'm coming up on the rail trail, so that's going to be my my way back. Um, but um, so I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Please uh, subscribe if you if you haven't already done so, um, and if you like this video, let me know again. And um, that's it for this adventure. All right, I reached the rail trail, so it's two miles back that way. But that's it for this adventure. Stay tuned for next adventure. Hopefully, all all of your adventures are fun and safe and hope you're living your best life. So until next time, take care.